Hello friends and uh, welcome to the lecture series on nursing informatics. My name is Medha Verma and uh, I'll be talking to you about uh, nursing informatics, the particular aspects of it, uh, not just the bookish learning that we do about informatics. I'll try to be as uh, practical and uh, would like to discuss how we are actually using informatics in our daily lives. So the first thing that we usually talk about is the term that is health informatics. So is nursing informatics the same as uh, health informatics? The answer is no and uh, it is basically part of uh, health informatics. So as we talk about uh, this health informatics, what exactly this is? To understand nursing informatics we need to understand what are these components of health informatics first. So in health informatics there are three things that we talk about healthcare information science and computer science. So information science as you read here it is the classification, manipulation, storage, retrieval and dissemination of information. So information is related to health and computer application is important which is also part of health informatics. So here when we talk about the nursing informatics you are talking about the three components. The only thing that change here is nursing science. Instead of uh, the health science you replace it with nursing science and the rest of the things remain the same that is you have computers and you have information science when you amalgamate these three things together that is what you get the nursing informatics you are using the computers and you are using the information science that is how you are processing analyzing managing the data which is there in the nursing and uh, you go and uh, you use that data well and you use it in patient care and nursing care so is nursing informatics solely computers as I just mentioned earlier it is not just computers that we are talking about it is also more than that and it is what we are using there are lots of devices there are lots of things that we come across every day is informatics so I'll begin with education because uh, that is where we need to start and we have already started in many of the institute we talk about uh, nursing uh, informatics and in the curriculum it is usually labeled as computer and its application but it is mo uh, most of uh, these practices that are applied to informatics that we are reading so in the basic systems we need to have computers the first thing that you need to understand is computers if you're not comfortable using them then there's a difficulty that is coming your way so for that uh, to understand informatics better you have to have an understanding and most importantly the application part is a big yes. Other things that we need to have and we already have actually in terms of uh, digital devices that are used in informatics across the world is use of smart devices and other than that we have clinical devices that we come across that we know of like for example we're talking of the BP machine or cardiac monitor or a mechanical ventilator these are the clinical devices that we come across so how these things are connected and there's something called interoperability uh, and how do you actually extract the data from these devices and use it that is what informatics is all about it is not just that you know how to connect a device that is also important it is an important component but other than that you need to know whether it can be a device that can be connected to another device or how do you use that data is what you're talking what it is higher level next thing which we need to add here is simulated EHRs and many countries across uh, the world they are using simulated EHRs they have uh, nursing specific activities and not just things which are relevant to health so the nurses are doing things which are related to nursing and not just health informatics other than that we need to have uh, standard nursing languages which is not there in India for specifics here we do not have a standard nursing language which we know of like for example we have a uh, N A N D A Nanda diagnosis that we use. Sorry for the bad handwriting here. So here we have Nanda or we have Omaha system. If you search it, so Omaha system and Nanda is uh, which you will find it is important. It is applicable to health, and these things need to be introduced here, and the students need to understand what exactly these EHRs are. This is what we lack here. We have some introduction to this, these three things because uh, the students are quite 
open about this idea but these two things need to be further emphasized here so simulation we are not only talking about uh, the basic cpr mannequins and all those things which are also simulation we have lots of options now for example we have case studies which are built in you can have high fidelity simulation where a perceptor can sit here and we speak something to the mannequin which will come out as a mannequin's voice and then you have a recording of the patient's basic vitals where which can be observed here and the student perform so these are safer and uh, these allow you to practice obviously the scope of uh, doing wrong things it's it's okay to do wrong things here because it is a simulated situation and uh, other than that you learn and you get to practice a lot of things so simulation is an important part of ni or nursing informatics other than that we have a lot of things that are going on like for example you have ar which is a thing which you'll we'll talk about or vr ar is augmented reality and vr is virtual reality so these things are very much in uh, but i'm not sure how much uh, the we are picking it so however there are scope there is a lot of scope of this in uh, understanding the disease condition and how well we can uh, build a better human world so these are coming in in health a lot and uh, there is a lot of scope of this in informatics e learning is something that we we have picked up a lot in india now and uh, the one which we commonly see is asynchronous so asynchronous is nothing but you have the option of going through the content on your own so you have a lms or learning management system there's something called lms which you see easily available what you will find is model m o d d l model so this is a common free where which you can use and then you can build in lectures you can have videos ppts through online platform you can have your pre quiz and post quiz so these are usually used by the institutes to promote uh, the exercise of understanding things which are common like for example you have a in service education program you can build these sort of ppts or video videos which are standard so understanding is better it is easier at their own pace they can learn similarly in case of students you can have a lot of lecture series that can be put in and uh, they can learn on in their own other thing which you see is synchronous now synchronous is live or real time learning for example in case of video conferencing or messaging you see that happening through virtual classrooms there you have chances that you can give feedback you can raise a hand or you can share screen with the students and uh, live audio and video support is there so these things can be done through synchronous learning and usually followed through video conferencing it is being used for multi purpose so the students can be sitting anywhere and this has been used quite widely nowadays in practice now in practice there are a lot of thing that uh, we come across like this is a case study that i came across here the students are given this sort of uh, simulated ehrs they can pick in they can do the respiratory assessment this is what they will actually come across in the clinical setting this sim simulated ehr is built based on what they will come across so here they have systemic assessment this is what it is showing here other than that there are other nursing parameters that they can learn about vitals order entry patient card or teaching care plans so this is certainly missing right now in our setting for now but this is what where we need to go similarly you have other things here you can see vital signs so you can enter the things how you are supposed to what exactly you are supposed to enter this is a graph and we are talking about the data extraction right data so this is what you are talking about you need to talk about these things how this patient or how this particular case responded and you can go backwards and assess what exactly your patients went through and you can have a case study presented so this is more complex when you talk about informatics it not just use of these ehr systems but how to utilize these systems okay so these are the things that usually students get to practice in many countries and then this is very similar to what they will see in the clinical setting later here i have also given example of another electronic nursing document documentation here you can enter patient medications which is this is very common we you see here in nursing setting in india you have a lot of uh, options like you can add medications you can have 
patient allergy written all these things documented and uh, medication status you can order medication this is more of a pharma system but apply to nursing so when you were talking about the interoperability in devices this you usually see now what happens is you have lo le these things monitored in your clinical setting it is ecg whether it is bp it is oximeter and it goes directly into the system what we usually call the his or healthcare information system the main idea bit i mean behind this interoperability is to understand how the system is monitoring we can go back and check things on organization level but right now we are talking about interoperability in terms of beyond that is between the organizations so that is what we are talking about so that those systems are in place now and um uh, are being implemented across so that is how this whole information goes into the system and you can observe later what is happening that is what you we were talking about other thing other important aspects that we have already in place in many states in india is tele nursing there are a lot of uh, uh, organization which are working towards it there lot there's a scope which uh, this it's numerous basically so whether you use it for consultation or for triaging or using for patient monitoring in case of e eicu which is one of the things which came in action uh and then you have specialty based care like for example recently i came across a um organization where they're using it for mental health issues they are uh, utilize utilizing it for and then there are cardiac and to name a few like for example telemetry used for cardiac that has been there for a lot of uh, for a, a long long time so that and then home health so you can do a video conference and a tele nursing can be used there can be uh you know things written down how you will interact with this patient and what are the steps you will take depending upon what specialty you are de dealing in it with like for example triaging it is it will help you to decide whether this patient needs to be sent to which area what is the emergency but when you talk about specialty based care if a patient is coming with a cardiac emergency then in this case you will have to ask that these are the symptoms okay now you go to this particular step so those need to be defined and it it has a lot of scope of practice but we need to be very um careful about how we are using this so these are some of the potential um technological uses in case of tele nursing that can be used and are being used like for example telephones and pds it is even utilized by the ashas anganwadis and uh, internet or use of computer information system where you get regular feedbacks or video or audio conferences even tele robots which is being uh, researched now how we use it administration now administration is something which adopted in uh, informatics quite uh, well i think i'll say so this is a simple example which many of the places are using now that you use a uh, nurse shift scheduling uh, software you can have lots of options like editing it or maybe swapping or give away or you have a shift which is you want which you want to delete or you can interact with colleagues and you have a whole calendar so you never forget and you can interact with your superiors or juniors then there are score cards or dashboards so these are basically your quality indicators used commonly for qu quality indicators so here as you see how many patient had allergy id bands and drug omission or prescribing so this could be a simple excel sheet just need a some uh basic formulation or it could be an elaborate programs for the dashboard so here also i've given you a more uh, wouldn't say a complex but it is uh, it needs some it help here so in case of ni that is what people are practicing now they're learning how to create these sort of dashboards because this tells you what exactly you need you are the one who will decide when what is like for example here we are talking about average length of stay what do you expect like for it's if it's a renal unit what do you expect this duration to be so these things needs to be decided by the nurse who is practicing there right so that can be individualized and that needs to be learned not just understanding how to use it but to go behind a step take a step behind and uh, go back and understand how do you actually create these things okay so that would be more individualized so that's what informatics would come cons consist of other than that there is acuity dashboards so acuity is uh, acuity is uh, something which we use in icu settings mostly 
as you see here the example is from ICU what happens is there are certain parameters based on which these are designed and uh, you will decide whether the patient needs more care like for example here I assume that this is a more serious patient and this is a slightly stable patient so here this could be clubbed with this patient and uh, one nurse can take care of it but in this case probably the ratio would need to be 1 is to 1 okay so this will help define properly but then again it is an important thing that you consider your uh, staff demands and all the, those things in uh, consideration before introducing this system because if the they don't believe in it it will not work so, so NI is more than just a uh, introduction of these systems and all you need to be in consensus it, it's a huge task you need to be in consensus with your staff in this one this concept is slightly new as in in nursing the clinical decision support tools now how these tools work is you have certain knowledge built in you have some task knowledge in and you have certain specific disease condition which are there in your system and you have some patient specific data now this particular system is going to suggest explanation give feedback and intervention and it will save some time that how you need to manage a particular patient based on its symptoms and what you know already the knowledge base it is more objective now use of clinical pathways now clinical pathways are more disease specific again you have a certain disease conditions you how do you do it you know that these are the sort of patients that you risk, uh, receive every time so you receive you discover and you create clinical pathway that these are the things that we need to do you analyze it and then you design a clinical pathway that is how we will manage this particular patient and that that is how it turns it into guideline that is what it is all about so this will keep on changing with feedback and it will keep on improving with time so this is important and useful more uh, objective it will be electronic it would be it would be easier for uh, the nurses to act in research though very limited we will say that what I'll be covering here but it is more elaborate and it is more uh, what I'll say it is more uh, there as compared to the rest of it because here you need to do a lot more than just mentioning all these things so you take in the data which we usually name it as a big data so and uh, you have analysis management and interpretation happening so you have use it mostly in terms of excel and SPSS that we're using now we have r as well and there are more softwares which auto analyze these data so this is the type of output you get you need to know how you read it and uh, hopefully we'll talk about these in detail later so for now the last thing that I'll like to mention about the research part that we need to understand is how to use these online softwares and nursing resources this is the common one which we see that is NCBI or uh, Sinehal or use of nursing plus you need to be an organizational member that would be more useful for you or Cochrane library and these things are the important things that you need to understand and utilize the nursing resources in terms of how to use a journal properly okay and uh, how to access it and what exactly you need to know so these are the things that you will talk about in uh, research in terms of informatics you need to understand these things to utilize it well so with this I end uh, this particular lecture and I hope we'll talk about more practical aspects later on uh, you can suggest as well which topic would you want me to pick thank you